A positive integer is 5 less than another. So, for example, we have x and x minus 5 as our two integers. If the reciprocal of the smaller integer, which would be the x minus 5, is subtracted from twice the reciprocal of the larger, then the result is 3 over 100. Find the two integers. Okay, so let's read that again. If the reciprocal of the smaller, so that would be 1 over x minus 5, is subtracted from, now from is a key word here that means it's coming from um, the reciprocal of the larger, twice the reciprocal of the larger, so that would be 2 over x. Then the result is 3 over 100. So students often um, get mixed up with that from word. If it's coming from, if you're taking away from something, then you're subtracting it from it. So, you know, if I take away $10 from you, then you take what you had and subtract 10. So it would be, you know, if you had $50, then 50 minus 10. Um, and then the reciprocal just means it's 1 over whatever that number is. So twice the reciprocal would be 2 times that. So the reciprocal of x is 1 over x times 2 gives you 2 over x. So I think that explains how this is all set up, but uh, if you have questions, just let me know. So we have a rational equation here. What we want to do is get the LCD of x, x minus 5, and 100. So in this case, we basically are just multiplying them all together because they don't have any commonalities, and we get x times x minus 5 times 100. And we're going to multiply that by both sides. Um, so I need some more room here. <laughs> Can't get rid of that other stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can select it or erase it or something. Nope. All right, well, we'll just have to make do. So what we're doing is multiplying 100x times x minus 5 times the left side. And on also the right side. But some things are going to cancel out, of course. So in, in 2 over x, we don't need the x. We just need the 100 and x minus 5. And I definitely need... So we get um, 200... And because that's the 2 times the 100, the x's can't, or divide out, and then we're left with x minus 5. And the second term, the x minus 5's go away, and we're just left with the 100x. And then over on the right, the 100's get to divide out, and we get 3x times x minus 5. So it's 200x minus 1,000 minus 100x equals 3x squared minus 15x. Combine like terms, we get uh, 100x minus 1,000 equals 3x squared minus 15x. And we have a quadratic going on here, so we need to get every, everything on one side. Um, so I'm going to subtract the 100x and add the 1,000 to both sides. So when I do that, I end up with 3x squared, and then I have a negative 15x minus 100x gives me one, negative 115x plus 1,000 equals 0. 
So now we have a quadratic equation to solve, um, a rather difficult one. So we have to, the only method of solving these types of equations right now that we have is factoring. Um, so we would multiply the 3 and the 1,000 together, and that's 3,000. And we need factors of 3,000 that add up to negative 115. So what I do, since it's such a big number and it'll have so many different um, pairs of factors, is I go into my calculator and um, oh, I was trying to get rid of that 115 and it's not cooperating. So under y equals, you're going to put in um, 3,000 over x as your function, and then click on second graph. So this is in the graphing calculator you can do this. Um, I don't believe it's anything you can do in a scientific calculator. So second graph brings up a table. And what you're looking for are um, pairs of whole numbers. So, for example, the first pair, of course, is 1 and 3,000. And you get a whole bunch. Uh, and then 2 and 1,500. I'm not going to continue writing them all down, um, because we can see that if there's no way that we're going to get 115 by adding or subtracting these numbers. Um, so we need to get some numbers that are a little bit closer together. So I scroll down and finally I get to, uh, where did it go, 45 I think. Oh, 40. 40 and 75. So it's a bit of a bear. But 40, if I make these both negative, 40 minus 40 and minus 75 is negative 115. So those are our um, values that we're going to split this up into. Or you can use the box method. Um, so this is the AC method. You turn it into a set of a trinomial. Now it's got four parts. And then you can factor it by grouping. So you just find the pairs that add up to the A times C and then you split it up. So this is still an equation. And you solve by, um, or you factor it by grouping and then you can solve. So I'm going to give myself a little more room here. And the first part I can take out an x and I'm left with 3x minus 40. And the second part I can take out uh, 25, and I'm going to need to take out a negative 25 because otherwise the signs won't match. And that leaves me with 3x minus uh, 40, which is what we want. So we see that these pair, these match up, that's what we want. So the factors are x minus 25 and 3x minus 40. And we can see that we're going to get two values, x equals 25 and x equals 40, minus, 40 over 3. We just want to make sure that um, neither one of those values will make the denominator undefined and it, they won't. So we actually get two answers for this. But the question wants to know the larger and the larger would be the 25. So that's your answer.